the whole thing wobbing. So we are now coming into June here very, very soon. And today I want to talk to you guys about the remaining promos that we could potentially have in Madden 24. And honestly, there may even be one more that EA might have up their sleeve. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Team Bloom for being a part of the Novi Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Novi Gang. Also, guys, there is a Paul Skeens .5 pitch special available right now to everybody on Underdog. And if you guys are new to Underdog Fantasy and you sign up right now using code Zerk, you'll get up to $250 in bonus funds, a .5 special, and this Paul Skeens special. But you only have until 4 p.m. Eastern time to use this. So follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I definitely will have a pick for this. We do also have another NBA game tomorrow. I may have decided to let the Wolves win once. We don't get such a large break between, you know, all the NBA games in the finals. So so, shout out to Luca for allowing it. Also, make sure you guys check out the giveaway I'm running for five copies of College Football 25 and Madden 25. You can find the link down below in the comment section. $750 worth of giveaways. Also, one more thing I do want to mention to you guys. I'm probably posting this video here if I had to guess around like 12, 1230. Uh, that is because we are expecting to see some College Football 25 information kind of come out this morning so if you guys are not already subbed to my college football channel yes i have an entirely separate channel where i go over all of the college football stuff it is xerxy cfb make sure you guys are subbed over there definitely will be dropping a video today and i expect we're gonna get a lot of information you know this week today as well uh some other day this week maybe even a couple days this week we're gonna start to see a lot of stuff about that game come out so again xerxy cfb make sure you guys sub over there as i said guys i'm basically doing this video to keep you guys informed on what potential promos we could see for the rest of the madden year obviously so uh madden 25 is gonna be dropping in the middle of august so when it comes to content we tend to get June, right? We're going to get a full June. We should get a full month here. July, we might get a couple of weeks. And then usually by the end of July, we're done, right? And then we have like a couple week stretch where we just get nothing. So there's not that much more uh, coming, but EA seems to have more of their sleep because as you guys can see right here, Crucible promo, that actually does drop tomorrow we're getting that promo tomorrow we don't really have a clue what that's going to be reveals for that though we should see like a teaser or something tonight at 7 p.m eastern time so we'll have a video out then when ea does go ahead and reveal that to be in the lookout there golden tickets as well we're gonna continue to get those i don't even know how many more releases of those we have but did want to mention that as promos coming golden tickets we're still getting them crucible uh that's coming don't know what that's gonna be and then ul's again we'll continue to get that pretty much as long as we get all other content now getting into other promos that we could potentially see uh to end out this year here starting off backyard ballers i also do want to mention this one uh team diamonds too i don't know what's going on with team diamonds too i don't think we're gonna get it this year because by now we should have definitely have gotten it and we haven't got it yet i feel like it's a little bit too late for ea to do that but i just want to throw that out there maybe that's promo we could get but backyard ballers i'll be honest i actually thought we were going to get this promo this week and the reason for this is because with the theme team all-stars what were the cards people were really really excited about those out of positions people really like those out of positions the way ea did it with the abilities all that good stuff they were really good cards I actually really thought that EA was going to push out Backyard Ballers this week. And to be honest, they still could, not this week, but they still could release this. Uh, depending on if Crucible is like a two-part promo, I think they would probably eliminate the possibility of Backyard Ballers dropping. But Backyard Ballers, if you don't know what it is, it's basically just out-of-position players. That's literally all it was. Now, this came out at the beginning of May last year, which is why I was really expecting it to come out this week if we were going to get it. It is possible that we could get it still, but... Yeah, who knows? We did get Ocho Cinco, though, free safety. Edgerin James, tight end. Uh, we got Patrick Ricard, right end. Derek Stingley, halfback. Carmichael, middle linebacker. Mike Evans, outside linebacker. Jordan Love, wide receiver. And Quinnen Williams, left tackle with release one. We also had some 97 overalls as well. In part two of the promo, we had even more players like QB Ricky Williams. We had DT Jason Witten. That card was just not all that crazy. Uh, Najee Harris left end, Grady Jarrett center, Anquan Bolden cornerback, strong safety Derrick Henry, Logan Thomas outside linebacker, and Josh Allen wide receiver. So yeah, that's basically it to be honest with you guys. It's just out of position players. That's all it is. It's just out of position players uh, usually were pretty good. Of course, we did have, you know, like a house rules event. We had some solo challenges. Uh, we also had a field pass as well. But will we see this promo? I don't know. But I do think the out of position hype was there when it came to the theme team all-stars 
And I think there's room to do more, but maybe that kind of was their backyard ballers, that little release there. Something else I do want to mention is a new season. Now, obviously not season five, because we are actually going to be going into season seven. But yes, last year as well, uh, we did end up getting a season this late. We got it on June 14th. We got season five was the final season. And in case you guys don't already know, we actually do have season seven coming in two weeks. So in two weeks, we're going to get season seven here uh, on Wednesday. So I'm really excited for that. I don't know exactly what EA has, you know, planned for it. But yes, that is also something else that is coming. We're going to get season seven. We're going to get a new competitive field pass as well. After that, guys, we have probably the most anticipated promo right now, aside from Rookie Premiere, which we'll talk about. Fan appreciation. And I got to say fan appreciation. I think we already kind of have an idea as to who we make it as a free player here, right? Uh, but starting off, you guys don't know what fan appreciation is. Essentially, it is a way to go ahead and get some free players, thanks to EA, you know, kind of showing some appreciation to us. And also, there tends to be some pretty good packs in the store as well. Now, as you guys can see right here, uh, last year anyways, we got it on June 8th. So again, that could be a promo that comes out as soon as maybe next week potentially could be a promo that we see uh you can see though we got 299 overall limited editions 299 champions two upgradable fan appreciation players that can reach 99 and a 97 overall debo that you guys could get from solo so starting off we had the limited we had vince wilfork and we had willie rofe as well we also did have these champions right here Deion sanders wide receiver and cornerback calvin Johnson. Then, in terms of the free players, we had two golden tickets that we could get. Now, we had Strong Safety Bo Jackson, and we also did have this tight end Harold Carmichael. Now, here's the thing, though, right? For those of you guys that are not aware about this, we actually did something on the EA stream last week that I mentioned to you guys. They didn't say it necessarily, but it kind of makes perfect sense, and this is kind of what I assume, is the Strong Safety Mike Evans that we actually made on the EA stream. It it was either strong safety or free safety. They just said safety, but I don't know which one's going to be. It could be free safety, strong safety, probably free safety, I would say, Mike Evans. Uh, but they did go ahead and actually allow the Twitch chat to make a free safety Mike Evans. I have a feeling that is going to be the free card we get. You're probably going to get it from the solos, or you're going to get it to upgrade through the field pass, whatever. But it is going to be, if I had to assume, the player we get with fan appreciation. So, Bo Jackson, tight end Carmichael, these cards were obviously very very good uh, and then of course we had this halfback Debo Samuel which you guys can get from the solo challenges as well then we also had fan appreciation daily challenges right here we had some objectives in the field pass some solo challenges and we had some store packs as well uh, now in some years these packs are really really good as you guys can see last year was 130,000 coins you get 287 pluses 190 plus 192 plus and 293 plus draft players for 130k it really wasn't crazy to be honest, but in years past, it actually was like really, really good. After that, guys, we have another promo that dropped last year, which is Mold Breakers. Now, here is the thing. I actually think this promo might be changed. I don't know if we're gonna get this promo because essentially the way that the Mold Breakers promo worked last year is they basically introduced a bunch of new archetypes into the game, right? Now, last year, depending on what the, you know, QB or wide receiver archetype was, kind of determined what abilities they would get. It doesn't really matter this year. They kind of just get whatever abilities they want. We did have some pretty crazy players like this punter, Riley Dixon. who got like Fearless, Pass and Elite, Gunslinger, Set Feet Lead. Uh, we got a tight end, Anthony Munoz. It also was you know a little bit of some out of position players like the Anthony Munoz right there uh we got Mark Bavaro we got Earl Campbell we got Roman Gabriel as well uh you can see in terms of like the abilities right Gunslinger for zero Hara Master zero just in general a lot of crazy crazy zero AP so maybe we get something similar to this where they just drop players that have like three zero AP discounted buckets and really just go all out with the players. I suppose that is something they could do. Uh, we also had the champions right here. Akeem Davis gather right here. Cornerback, Legarius Sneed, Dion Buchanan, middle linebacker, Jonathan Taylor, Kyle Pitts, wide receiver, Ronnie Brown, QB as well. So I really don't know if we'll get this promo again, but wanted to talk about it. And then obviously guys, the final promo to talk about is rookie premiere in red zone Royale. Now this promo last year actually 
actually dropped right at the end of June. It was June 29th. It is a four-part promo. At least it was last year. Sometimes it comes out. It's just one part. Last year, they made it four parts to kind of end out the year with July content. And uh, I can see them doing it the same way again this year. Now, basically, with these rookie premieres, in case you guys don't know, when you do a rookie premiere set, it is the only way to go ahead and actually transfer anything from one Madden to the next Madden. So when they release these sets... Uh, they, they costed, I believe, off the top of my head, if I do recall correctly here, I want to say they were like 450k to like 500,000 coins per player to go ahead and do. Now, doing that, you got a lower overall version to start off Madden 24 for doing these sets. And if you did all 32, you got auctionable Aiden Hutchinson. Otherwise, they were just all BNDs. Uh, but if you did all 32, you got an auctionable Aiden Hutchinson. Now, of course, when it comes to these cards dropping, you know, in Madden 23, we don't really care about them. Same thing with Madden 24. We're not really going to care about the cards too much because it is going to be right at the end of June. You know, a lot of people are going to sell off their teams to go ahead and do these sets anyways, uh, which, as as I already told you guys last week, I would recommend you sell off a lot of expense players right now before EA potentially drops the market floor because that could still be coming. But along with the rookie premieres, we got Red Zone Royale. Why do we get Red Zone Royale? Well, because EA just wanted to drop more cards on us pretty much with Steve Smith, Kyle Hamilton, and also this was the way to actually do these sets. You needed two of these 98s to get one 99 overall rookie premiere. We also did get this uh, Jamal Adams right here from the solo challenges, 99 overall. Jamal Adams, you can see right here in terms of sets, you needed 298 to get a 99 overall rookie premier champion in 23 and 24. And then you got a token right here, which you added in uh, to get the Aiden Hutchinson. And these sets can only be completed once and will expire on August 10th at midnight. And then, of course, when the game actually came out with Madden 24, the Aiden Hutchinson ended up being an 87 overall, which was auctionable, uh, which was actually pretty solid. And then, of course, the rookie premieres themselves ended up being 84s. And there were some really 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 good rookie premieres to start off this year honestly there were some really good this Julius Brent was one of the best cornerbacks I've literally ever used in like Madden history uh Jair Brown was a solid safety Bijan was really good at running back Nolan Smith was extremely fast at outside linebacker a lot of people like Christian Gonzalez uh, the Jameer Gibbs card also was really good Zay Flowers loved that wide receiver CJ Stroud was a great QB to start the year as well so I think it was totally worth doing the rookie premiere set that being said, guys, those are pretty much all the promos that we could potentially see for the rest of the year. Uh, again, maybe EA has something else planned. You know, we might not see Mold Breakers. Maybe they have another new promo to introduce to us. We've gotten a ton of new promos this year, but I wanted to keep you guys posted. Uh, and as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to come, okay? There's a lot of content coming out for sure. Be on the lookout there. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Check out Rog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks tomorrow. MLB potentially today. We do have that Paul Skeens special. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.